We have a very special printing plate um, in our collection that was commissioned by Bonnie Prince Charlie in 1746. Um, it was abandoned shortly after the Battle of Culloden and dropped in a bog where it remained for a few decades um, before it was rediscovered. It's known to have been printed from twice in the past um, and hasn't been printed from since 1928. As part of the West Highland Museum's centenary celebrations, we're going to be printing from it again. We're going to be using beech wood um, from trees that were planted at Atmacarry in 1745 and the frame is going to be crafted by a master craftsman. Well, it's actually called the Strange Plate after um, Robert Strange. Um, nothing strange about it at all. Um, Robert Strange was uh, basically a Jacobite. He followed Bonnie Prince Charlie from the onset. He was in love with a lady called Isabella Lumsden um, and basically she said, if you want to be with me, you need to follow the prince. So he did. April 1746, during this period that the army were stationed in and about Inverness, the 1st Battalion of the Lifeguards, commanded by Lord Elko, were billeted upon Culloden House. One evening, after I had retired to rest, an express arrived from Inverness between 11 and 12, acquainting me that the Prince was desirous of seeing me as soon as possible. Just before Culloden, um, for various reasons, the Jacobites were running out of money. There had been unsuccessful deliveries of treasure um, that had been either lost or stolen on the west coast. Mm -hmm. So in desperation, um, the prince decided that he'd need to issue his own banknotes. So he summoned um, Robert Strange, who was a well-known engraver of the time, to um, Inverness, where he was um, stationed. Um, and he basically came in the dead of night and instructed Robert Strange um, to engrave a b banknote that could basically, well, a copper plate that could be used as to print banknotes for the Jacobite cause. His Royal Highness was desirous of taking my opinion relating to the circulation of one species of money or another, which had been thought expedient to issue to the service of the army in general, but more particularly amongst the soldiery. The Prince was very pleased apparently with the design um, and the result was the copper printing plate that we now have in our collection. This is on Loch Lagan side in Inverness here, and this is where the plate was found around 1835. Perhaps dropped as he crossed the ford, who knows. But how did it come to, to be with the West Highland Museum? Well we bought it, the museum bought it in 1928 at a public um, auction in London at Sotheby's when the effects of Clooney Macpherson were sold and it was he who brought it to public notice with um, an article in the Society of Antiquities journal where it was pictured um, and described. He would have had to cross the river here on his way to Badenoch where he spent uh, about 10 days at a place which became known as Clooney's Cage, which was a hideout up here. It would have been carried around in somebody's sack for four months, so it mm. could well have been, if it started off in fairly good form, it would have been a bit scraped and battered. Mm -hmm. Well, our expert printmaker, um, who will be printing from the plates for us now, he says that it was very poorly constructed as well, so mm -hmm. as well as being poorly constructed, it, it, it then obviously deteriorated to having been lost for, for a considerable period of time before it was rediscovered again in yep. what we think was the 1830s. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yes, 90 years somewhere lying in the riverbank. Mm -hmm. So the trees would have been planted uh, in 1745, um, making them uh, 276 years old. Uh, yeah. Quite incredible. Yeah. They would have been planted by Lochiel of the time in 1745, as we understand as, a, as an avenue. Um, but when the call came in that the that Bonnie Prince Charlie had landed, it suddenly changed the way he had to op operate. So they were just dug in as, as they are. So if you, you can see them all grouped together in strange uh, numbers. And then the idea would have been that he would have come back to plant the avenue properly. You might not think, you know, a tree that size. That's, there's no way that's 250 years, 270 years old. Counted the rings and yes. They are, they are actually that old. <laughs> we have a, a few trees that have come down more recently um, and we have collected that wood for you. Um, it's just up at the castle just now, it's, um, ready for you to use.
So the next phase of the project we decided in um, 2020 two is our centenary so we thought it would be a good opportunity to consider um, printing from the plate again um, so we um, took the plate down to um, Alistair Clark at Edinburgh Printmakers. Um, Alistair was very helpful he assessed the plate for us um, he wasn't very impressed with the quality of the plate um, which from reading Strange's memoirs we know that it was knocked up in a hurry um, and it's had a bit of a sort of hard life buried underground yeah. for 90 odd years. So this is, the, this is the back of the plate, and you can see the colour that the, the plate came in when I, when I first saw it. Well, by, you know, the printing process polishes it. It's a tricky plate to ink. But we were really pleased that he, he decided that we were able to print from the plate again, which was really exciting for us mm -hmm. um, to be able to do that and be able to offer another little print run and offer people the opportunity to purchase them for our centenary. <laughs>